Hey guys, I'm Hannes from Arduino and today I'm going to show you how to get started with the Alvik. The Alvik is a robot specifically designed for programming and robotics education. It's powered by an Arduino Nano ESP32 and can be programmed using MicroPython, Arduino C or block-based coding. Let's take a look at what's inside the box. Once unboxed, you will find the Alvik robot and the USB-C cable. Before turning it on, you need to locate the pull tab protective sticker on the bottom of the robot near the battery compartment. Grab the tab and pull it upward firmly to remove the insulator and enable the battery connection. With the pull tab removed, let me show you how to check the battery status. Keep your Alvik turned off and connect the USB cable to the Nano ESP32 on top and your PC. The Nano ESP32 should already be inserted at the top of your Alvik out of the box. After a few seconds, you should see one of the following. A green LED, this means the battery is fully charged. A red LED blinking, this means the battery is charging. No LED, the battery may be faulty. To check it, turn on the Alvik using the switch located at the back of the robot. If an orange light near the quick connector blinks every 10 seconds, contact our customer support for a replacement. A word of warning. If the Alvik is left unused for several months, the battery might become fully depleted, leading to a voltage drop. In such cases, the battery will need to be charged externally using a compatible charger. To preserve the battery life of your Alvik, always store it fully charged. We recommend charging it between every working session. If you're not going to use it for a longer period, remove the battery until you're ready to use it again. If the battery does get completely discharged, you will need to remove one Phillips screw and take out the plastic holder. Make sure to turn off the Alvik before removing the existing battery. Then tighten the battery holder terminals by pulling the plus and minus terminal slightly toward the center to ensure they make good contact with the battery terminals. Take your recharged battery and place it into the holder, ensuring it is securely connected. Reinstall the plastic holder and the Phillips screw Connect the Nano ESP32 using the USB cable while the Alvik is switched off and you should see the charging indicator lighting up green if fully charged or blinking red if it's still charging. You're now ready to turn on your Alvik using the power switch shown here. Once you have confirmed that the battery is working as it should and the Alvik is fully charged, it's time to make sure your firmware is up to date. To perform the firmware update, go to alvikupdate.arduino.cc. Connect the Alvik to your computer, turn on your Alvik and click the connect button in your browser. A pop-up window will appear prompting you to select the port. Choose the correct port and confirm. Once connected, click the update button and wait for the process to finish. And that's it! Your Alvik is now fully charged and up to date. To explore different ways of programming it, check out the video links in the description below.